Jeezy's Thug Motivation. Let's go. I wonder where I, I wasn't gonna suggest it. I wondered if you were gonna bring this up because I know I know I remember you in Atlanta in 2005 when this came out. I remember we lived in at the same time. I remember the impression it made on you, like yo, cheesy though. Please, please tell us more about your 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 journey with Mr. Jay Jenkins. All right, so check this. 2005, it's our first year in corporate America. You know what I'm saying? And Thug Motivation, basically, Thug Motivation 101 is basically street journalism for the streets. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it is. Yes. But it was my most listened album in 2005. I was in the cubicle rocking it hard. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Cut the kitchen lights. I see cockroaches everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They cut the kitchen lights. I see marble floors everywhere. I was when I heard that line in the office, I just stood up from my cubicle and just like, what am I listening to right now? It was an album that was straight just off of swag and energy. Yes. Pure. Pure. You know? Pure. That's it. Pure. But I felt it and I snorted that mug up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I would just, it was just like, whoa, like the beats was just very Atlanta like. Shouty red, shouty red. You know, and like the like the energy, it just captured the energy of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that was Atlanta. That was you know? Atlanta. And that I was, was like, Atlanta. Wow. Shout out, shout out to Tip and um Gucci as well. But that that but one on one was <sighs> Atlanta. My gosh, so I love that album. I'll be honest with you, lyrics, sure, but yeah. I can't really claim any lyrics. I can't really recall any. It just, I felt the energy of that album and it rocked with me to 2005. And when I'm just going somewhere and I, and I just want an album, I will pump that in right in. You know what I'm saying? 